I'm going to call this a walkthrough. Um, think of me as the tour guide and I'm giving you a tour of some work that was done previously. Uh, the theorem that we're looking at has to do with the angle that would be between two vectors if the vectors uh, originated from the same point. So the formula in question is highlighted here now. Uh, the cosine of theta would be the dot product of the two vectors divided by their two magnitudes. So as I explained in my classroom, it's possible that you could see this proof before you get into the vector calculus class. There are courses where it could happen. So we don't have a lot of lecture time. So this little item I'm set up as a document on my web page for my own students and a video for all who are going to choose to watch it here. So it only requires some trigonometry, so let's begin. So if we have uh, two vectors, vectors u and v, and let me just see if I can't draw your attention to them here. So here's vector u and vector v, and the angle between them is definitely highlighted here or noted here. What we have here on the to the right, um, this is vector u minus vector v. Uh, to review vector addition or subtraction, you can check out one of my other videos or do a little practice in your own book. So that subtraction of two vectors, though, gives us the third side of a triangle. And we don't know if this triangle has a right angle or not. So my picture sort of makes it look like that the angle theta is acute or less than 90 degrees, but we just don't know. So for the sake of the purpose of this proof, I'm going to use vectors that have two components just so there's less algebra on the screen to show. But it works just as easily in three dimensions. And if you're going to generalize it to more dimensions, you'd probably be looking at this from a completely different point of view, maybe linear algebra, not this class. So how do you find the angle between two vectors? And the answer is uh, the law of cosines can deal with a triangle where it does not have a right angle and you know two vectors or sides and you're interested or want to know about the angle between them. So this right here is the formula for the law of cosines which basically is a version of Pythagorean's theorem if cosine of theta, um, theta was 90 degrees, cosine of 90 degrees would be zero, and you'd have Pythagorean's theorem. So if you don't, uh, you can go back to your trigonometry class and review the fun parts of proving the law of cosines. But it gives us some operations that we can work with. For instance, um, let me see if I can switch it up here. This right here would be the magnitude of vector u squared, and this would be the magnitude of vector v squared. And um, it turns out we won't need to manipulate these components over here. That'll be nice here at the end. And this is what we get if we subtract the two vectors and we find the magnitude and we want to square that. So with a little bit of, uh, we might call it FOIL uh, manipulation here, um, it expands to this uh, quite uh, long but not too difficult to understand expression. It has lots of terms partially developed by FOIL and partially from the square roots being squared. And we can see this list of terms, but if we pay really close attention, we could see is, you know what, that term is on both sides of the equation, as are these two and this one. And if we subtract from both sides, what we're left with is this term uh, this set of uh, this equation, excuse me, right here. And I'm going to do a little bit of factoring and factor out the negative 2. And then we're going to take a little pause here. The components u1, v1, plus u2, v2, that actually is the definition of the dot product of these two two-dimensional vectors. That is dot product. Again, not part of this video. I'm just proving the cosine theta formula. So we rewrite it right here as the dot product equals um, 
uh, this part of what's left of the law of cosines, and I'm going to ask what happened to the negative 2. Well, that's right. I divided both sides by negative 2, so it doesn't show anymore. It looks like it quote-unquote canceled, um, but negative 2 divided by itself was equal to 1. Finally, a little division and a little rewrite, and we have for ourselves the cosine of theta is equal to uh, the dot product of the two vectors divided by their magnitudes. QED, or as some people say, quite easily done. Thank you very much.